Perfect. All right, welcome back. We are here with uh, Premier Christy Clark inside the How Do You Like the Morning News Cafe. It's fantastic. It's Beautiful. got it all here. I wish my kitchen was like that. <laughs> it's clean, too. Yes, me too. I agree. Now, uh, you're here to, you're gonna, we're going to make a, a chicken stir fry in just a second, but you're talking here about, about sodium and, mm -hmm. and just how, how and we've seen all the statistics, how dangerous sodium is and how we need to cut salt out, but... Uh, some people just don't get the message. Well, I, you know, the thing is, is that it's one of those, it's one of those things that have sort of snuck into our diet. Mm -hmm. A lot of it's hidden. So when you think about where you get your salt from, 11% is salt that you add yourself in okay. your own home. 12% occurs naturally. So over 75% comes hidden in foods that we get. Wow. And because we eat at restaurants more, more prepackaged food, just things like your butter, your uh, cheese, your bread will have more salt in it. Mm -hmm. So we're consuming a lot more salt and that's having a big impact on people's health and we need to be thinking about that. And I guess it's with those processed foods, it's really tough to sort of convince people that, you know, to, to cut some of the salt out because, you know, chefs cook with salt all the time. They love the taste and things like that. But I guess it's trying to change a mindset. That's right. That's right. And well, you know, and packaged foods are something that we all depend on because we're busy. Sure. So, you know, you think, okay, I'll go, let's just go grab something at the restaurant. And even if it's something you think is healthy, you don't know how much salt is in it. And my mother was a dietitian, mm. and she always used to say, Christy, you can never add as much salt as they would in the food that you're buying. Okay. So even if you add salt at home, you right. probably shouldn't, you're, but you're eating at home much more, you're probably doing better than if you're eating out and eating prepackaged foods all the time. All right, so you've got uh, some stuff put together for us and you're gonna get me to help out here. I'm apparently, gonna, I'm in charge of chicken. You're in charge of chicken. <laughs> you're so in charge of everything else. <laughs> <laughs> so we've, we're gonna do a chicken stir fry here. Okay. And it's, um, it's, it's got, it's low sodium. Mm -hmm. We're not adding any salt except for some low sodium soy sauce to it, which oh. will have some salt into it. Okay. So, and the, the thing about it is the idea is to add flavor mm -hmm. without adding salt. Mm. And for me, this is a good one because it's got a little bit of sweetness in it. Yeah. And if you want to, you know, get your kids yeah. to eat some veg and, you know, some things that taste good, well, maybe you want to add a little. Now, you, you made this last night. Was it popular? Did, did your son like it? Yeah. He yeah. Did? Okay. Because well, it's got this orange in it. So the yeah. orange makes it really sweet and the ginger is, is tasty too. But you know what? If your kids don't like orange and ginger, yeah. add ketchup. Add anything else. <laughs> Seriously, whatever they'll eat. Now right? you're talking my language. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to cook this chicken. This yep, is get that in there. A little oil there. Yep. And this is the chicken. Mm hmm. Whoops. Yeah, you got to get that out of there. Whoa. You know, the thing about salt is that there's a huge, um, the number one killer of women is, you know, we often think it might be breast cancer or something like that. It's actually stroke and heart disease. Right. So you want it, women in particular want to be careful about the amount of salt that they're eating. Now, Premier, I made You're a mistake a already because there. I didn't put the oil all around and it's all well, stuck to the, you know look what, what I've done. I, you know what, I think, we, I, mean, I think we need to turn it down. Let's try that. That's a good idea. You want it on medium high. Oh, medium high, okay, So good. while you're doing that, I'm gonna take this. Okay. And I've got some broth cooking here, Steve. Broth, um, a low sodium broth. And there's actually some brands out there you can get that actually has no sodium. I just, oh, the broth isn't in there yet. We're working on it. We're working on it. Oh, here's the broth right here. There's the broth. Okay, good. So I'm gonna, so I'm going to take these veg, and these veg, you've got some hard veg, some soft veg. Okay. When I do this at home, I don't normally cut the veg so small. So my broccoli will have stalks on it. Yeah. And my advice is to get the broccoli in first, give right. it an extra couple minutes to cook. Okay. And then uh, give it a couple extra minutes to cook, and then oh, these are nice and hot, both of these, medium high. We're gonna go for here. Steam that up there. It's a brand new stove, and so we're not sure about the temperatures yet. Yeah, that's no the, kidding. That's no. why this is burning. I think the fire alarm's going to go off any minute. <laughs> I think you might be right. All right. <laughs> it's, stir. I'm just going as hard. quick as I can. I'm doing it. I'm. Oh, look at this. This is going like crazy here. Oh, I like that. That's yeah. good. Yeah. So, I can tell you it may look like it's burning, but it smells lovely. And, and that's if all things that fall out when you're stir frying, you know what yeah. you do? Just eat them. Oh, good go. idea. Well, I dropped some chicken here just on the side, but. So you want to keep that, cook that until it's no longer pink. Okay. What would you say? I don't know. That what looks, are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> so that's no longer pink. It's looking good to me. I think it's looking good too. So this is, and this is, you know, the thing about this is that if you're like your daughter yeah. and you want nice crisp vegetables, yeah. go for it because crisp is probably better, right? The nutrition stays in it a little sure, bit longer. Sure, yeah, yeah. So, Less refined foods are always better, That's I think. right, that's right. So the brighter your greens are, yeah. um, the more healthful they still are once they get overcooked. But you know what? Yeah. If your kids like them soft, do whatever. You know what? At least they eat them. That's right. Get them into them. Now, what do you think? Is that okay? I think that's looking good. Okay, good. Now, do I dump it in there? You dump it in there. All right. With that. Now, I'm going to take these oranges. I'm going to mash them up. And shut this off. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how this works, this thing. Burn me fire guys come. <laughs> That's right. So I'm going to put this, these oranges into this thing. Okay. And I'm not going to forget to put the top on. Good idea. Because that's happened before. I've, You've forgotten I'm it? the mix master. Have yeah. you ever done that? Spur yeah, many yeah. times. I make those smoothies at home and forget to put this little thing in the top and yeah, it's not good. Well, you know when you're out golfing with Squire and you're making smoothies, I yeah, imagine. That's right. You got it. You end up with a little margarita mix. Look at the so, color on this. This is actually quite good color. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's nice. So well, then we add a little bit of this stuff, a little okay. bit of the orange, because that sweetens it up really nicely. Shouldn't probably use this one. I'll try this one here. And then some ginger. Mmm, ginger. Some ginger. Hence the orange ginger beef, I guess, or ginger beef, whatever it's called. That's right. Chicken. There we go. And then, and we'll add some soy sauce. Okay. There you go. And that's low sodium soy sauce, low sodium, um, actually zero sodium broth. And then we'll just, we'll close it up a bit here and let it steam for a second. Okay. And, and that then, took us, what, about two minutes? Did it take two minutes? Yeah, two, two and a half minutes. Wow. That's how quick it is. That's pretty it's, simple. And well, and you know that, it's not as quick at home, obviously, because you've got to do your yeah, pre- Chopping and sure, stuff like that. But yeah. you know what? You can get your vegetables already chopped. You can buy a bag of broccoli that's already chopped. Yeah. You know, lots of stores have that stuff already for you. Okay. And if you're, so if you're really busy, mm -hmm. as we are, mm -hmm. and you don't have time to do all that kind of stuff, minimize your work. Yeah. Just, you know, because you get home, you go, oh, gosh, you know, this is good. I, I don't have time to do all the cooking. Right. That's a big problem. Reach right? for the phone, call exactly. the takeout, whatever it is. Exactly. Exactly. Simple. All right. Now, we got some plates over here, I understand. And you know, if people don't, if, if ginger and orange is not what you want, or if you want to supplement it, you can add some other things to your, to your meal to give it flavor too, instead of salt. You could add more garlic, there's cilantro, sesame seeds, you can add, I think it, there's peanut sauce there, you know, or it, some lemon. of the citrus, yeah. yeah. You know, depending on what the people in your life want to eat. Mm -hmm. Personally, I'm a big garlic person, so I would add a lot of garlic to my recipe. Okay. And, but it's, in, you know, it's kind of, it's a salt alternative. Yeah. But you so. might have meetings today. You don't eat garlic for breakfast. Well, you know, that's Not the a good idea. <laughs> okay. Oh. So, see, it's not looking great. It's all the bright colors. <laughs> that's a little hot. <laughs> Apparently, I've never cooked on a stove before. Well, it's, it's a hot now, stove. What's in here? We're going to turn these guys oh, I'm off. I'm not going to do that again. That wasn't great. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, that's rice. Okay. The rice is already cooked, and it's nice and warm, too. So I'm going to turn this off. That's off. That's off. All right. And then... Um, do you we, want a plate or do you want me to? You plate it. Okay, I'll plate yeah. it. We're starting a, um, a sodium awareness campaign. Okay. And we're going to be, you know, just to remind people that they should be eating a little bit less sodium. And part of our health prevention, because I think people want to know that we're trying to prevent health problems, not right. just treat them. And uh, there's going to be a, a prize. If people, you can get free groceries for a year and dietitian services for an entire year wow. for your family. If, uh, and it's, if people go to... And there's the, we're going to put the website Have you got it up there? Yeah, we're going to okay. put it up for you right now. Triple so. W. There it is, Healthy, Healthy Families. Families. Yeah, you got it. it. Yeah, there it is. Well, so. considering we've never cooked before together, I think we did a fantastic job. Ah, uh, yeah, not bad. Not yeah. bad, and look at the... Look, you did a great job with the greens there. Do you like the plating? I love it, too. Uh, we've got some forks there. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're gonna get Have to a little snack? Okay, right. there's our finish. Our first ever... Uh, we should go on Iron Chef or something. I think we'd be great. <laughs> well, together. we were fast. I know. We were very fast. There's a, oh, there's the plate right there. Look there at we that. Go. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, let's try this out. All right, little broccoli. Mmm. It it's actually is good. very good. I know. Well done. Thank you. Nice job, partner. <laughs> All right, nice healthy, working with you. HealthyFamiliesBC.ca uh, is the way to get it. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Thanks, Premier. Nice to see you. Excuse me. Thanks, Premier. <laughs>